Today, I'm going to show you this handy dandy tool if it would only focus, focus, focus. Hello, shrimp people. Oh my goodness. There is a bit of a outbreak in here. Algae outbreak, green alert, look at all of it. Oh my goodness. So what happened is, yes, um, I'm not perfect and sometimes things go wrong in my tanks too. What happened is it's winter time here. Our daylight, um, the amount of daylight that we have every day is <laughs> really reduced from summertime. My plan was to leave the lights on longer and with that came algae. So I cleaned the front of the glass here and it looks so good right it's clear it's beautiful but you can see where i left it on the sides and you can also see where i took a patch off right here and the difference right so you're wondering how did i get that off so nicely so swiftly i will show you the tool that i use which i really love and i recommend to anybody in the aquarium hobby who has algae it is a mini paint scraper i bought this in a hardware store in the paint section you know when you're painting something near glass or, or a mirror, it's really you can't take the paint off, it's hard. So this is a scraper meant for that, for taking it off. Anyways, if you <coughs> take the scraper, you push it against the glass, and you push in a downward motion, it will scrape off the algae without harming your glass if you keep it flush against it like that and push straight. I mean, if you start going nuts and going like, eh, eh, ooh, ooh, no, 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 don't do that. Go straight down like that. So, I'll show you guys um, continuation of this project and how it works, okay? So let's just move the light back so I can get over here. Got the blade in, watch this. Okay, so I took off another chunk, looking pretty good. It's not hard, I mean, it's hard because I'm holding a phone right now trying to record this, but it's actually it only took me really a few minutes to clean the front of the glass. So, go ahead and get yourself one of these little scrapers. So the only really things that I need to caution you guys about is, again, please remember not to use the blade any other way than up and down and against the flush against the glass like this. If you start using it this way, you could cause some damage to your glass. So just use it as it was intended, flat motion right against the glass. The other thing is um, if the blade is wet and you don't dry it off, it can get rusty. And you definitely don't want it to dry, get rusty, and then put it back in the tank. Okay, so make sure you dry your blade off. I think that's it. I'm going to get back to finishing this off so you guys can see just what it looks like. And let's get to finishing this off. Have a nice algae free tank. Another way to um, really get rid of this tough green algae is often with the use of nerite snails. Now, I stopped using nerite snails for a very specific reason, and that is because if one dies in your tank, it's kind of like a little ammonia bomb goes off in your tank, and it can affect your perimeters and kill your shrimp. By the time you realize something's wrong, um, does the damage is kind of done, being done, and hard to fix. So, I don't use nerite snails anymore in my shrimp tanks. So this is another handy dandy tool that people like to use for removing algae from their tanks. And I have used them in the past, but I find that if one little tiny something gets stuck, um, let me show you, if one little tiny piece of something gets stuck in this part right here, while you're dragging it across your glass, you can make some really big scratch marks. So a tiny grain of sand or a tiny piece of something gets stuck in there. And it can happen when you're, when this is in this side of the tank when this is in this side of the tank and you press it against the glass sometimes things get kicked up um, in the tank and then get lodged in here um, when you're removing it when it comes loose from the magnetic part that comes on this side so this is something that people often use for this sort of thing but 
um, I find that I don't want to risk it anymore because if a sand particle or something sharp gets stuck in there, I will have long scratch marks on my tank. And I'll show you where this happened in the past. Oh, wow. Look at this beautiful clear glass. Not like this is what happens when you drag something that has a grain of sand or something sharp in it over your glass. You can make long scratch marks very easy very quickly and uh, if you did it like me it, without proper lighting at the time then you can really do some damage before you notice what's happening so best to stay away from those if you can